This right here is like probably the best look I have ever had in my life. This. Ooh. Today, I wanna go over some common mistakes when using a hairbrush. Number one, not conditioning the hair naturally and properly. To properly, or how I like to properly brush my hair to distribute the natural oils is start from the bottom and work my way up. You can flip your hair upside down to brush it. Just gently stroke your hairbrush from the bottom, working your way to the top to the crown of your head. And once you're done, just go back over your hair, just from the top to the bottom. This will just kind of ensure your natural oils work as a leave-in conditioner. This will provide a lot of shine, bounce, and just a lot of life to your hair. Rely on that first before you jump into a leave-in conditioner because your body is a very smart thing and it knows what it's doing. Number two, not using the proper hairbrush or hair comb in dry climates, which will lead to staticky hair. So what you gotta do to take out that static, use a metal comb. That's as simple as it can come. A regular hairbrush will not help. Using a metal comb will. Mistake number three is not using the right hairbrush on wet hair. When hair is wet, it's very fragile. So using the right tool or comb is very important. So that brings me to these two tools right here. The first one is a wide tooth comb. The teeth are so wide apart, your hair is not gonna get stuck easily. Or what I even prefer even more is a very soft detangling wet brush. This is specified for wet hair. It's very soft. I mean, I'm barely touching it and they're very soft. The bristles, they move through your hair very gently. And that brings me to common mistake number four, not using the right technique to brush your wet hair. So what I like to do and what others recommend is start from the bottom, working your way up. And then once everything is detangled, that's when you can go from the top to the bottom just to make sure if you put any extra product in to really distribute the product in your hair evenly. This mistake is one of my biggest pet peeves. So what I see a lot of stylists do, they'll take not even a wet brush, they'll just take a regular Ooh. hairbrush and just start brushing the hair from the top and then what happens? It gets stuck because it's, it's tangled. And what they do is just go over it a couple of times, more than a couple of times, just to get rid of the tangles. And that to me is a huge no-no because hair is already so fragile. It's already been going through so much with the color and the process of whatever. The one thing I would think is they would wanna be extra gentle when brushing out the hair. So what I like to do and what others recommend is start from the bottom, working your way up. Mistake number five, over brushing the hair. You know what, I'm with you. I love brushing my hair. I like when it feels soft. I like when it feels fresh but sometimes we just need to give our hair a rest. I personally like to brush my hair twice to three times a day max. And how I do it is I make sure, again, to start from the bottom and kind of work my oils through my hair naturally. This will just help to ensure that it's conditioned again, the hair is not tangled and it will detangle it along the way and it will make it nice and soft and fresh again. And usually I will just stick to the mids and the ends of my hair because that's where most of my length and hair is. At the top, I'll just kind of just go over with my hand, just kind of brush it through, kind of work with my fingers because my hands and fingers, they're very soft, they're not as rough. And I just wanna make sure that I'm gentle with my hair and a hairbrush can be damaging in the long run and it can make your hair more fragile than it really should be. Number six, not using a hairbrush or hair comb to distribute product into your hair. So for example, when I use a deep conditioning mask in the shower, I'll go in with a wide tooth comb to really work in that product, starting from the ends to the mids of my hair to really distribute that product evenly to get the maximum benefit from the product. And then when I'm using a hairspray before styling the hair, I'll spray a section of hair and then go in with a little tool like this, a little metal comb, brush it out completely to really distribute the hairspray evenly among the hair. Mistake number seven is not cleaning the hairbrush. The reason why you wanna clean it is because it could develop bacteria, which if you think about it, you will be putting that bacteria on your hair. So you wanna make sure you clean your hairbrush on a regular. I usually clean my hairbrushes every single day. I try to at least. This one is very easy to clean because the bristles are kind of further apart. You can see where the hair is. There is some hair right here. I'll just take my hand and first kind of squeeze and just 
kind of use my fingers and try to grab as much hair out as I can. And then I'll use a sharper tool, something like this. This is just the other side of the metal comb. It's just the rat tail part. Kind of just go in there and pick it up so, and everything just comes up. Very easy to use. Or if you have a very intense hairbrush that has a lot of bristles, that has different types of bristles in the same brush. This brush actually came with its own little hairbrush cleaner. So it's very easy to kind of go in there and comb the hairbrush out. They also sell these types of Amazon. And then also if I wanna do a deep clean, I'll just wet the hairbrush cleaner and I'll just go in and really brush everything out. And then either let this air dry or just use a hair dryer to dry it out. I kept this one dirty for you guys, just so you can see what could happen within a week of not cleaning the hairbrush. There's a lot of dust and a lot of hair. Yeah, just clean out your hairbrushes. <laughs> and there you guys have it, some common mistakes when using a hairbrush. I hope this was informative and enjoyable, but for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.